Good morning, folks. This soap is brought to us by uh, Victory Shaving Company. The name of this one here is Flight Engineer. And the uh, scent is uh, bamboo, ginger, and coconut. That's what the soap looks like on the inside. It's fairly firm inside the uh, uh, tin here, but uh, it's fairly easy to scrape out and put in a bowl that got ripped up. With a, uh, this is a vintage brush. Century. This was re-knotted and polished up and looking pretty nice from a uh, stripe gold shave. And this is what it looks like here in the bowl. Pretty nice scent. Got the uh, Allen Block No Rubber Band. Still sporting the uh, Sterling Black Eyes uh, Witch Hazel that's methylated. Dangled and follow up to shave with uh, Master Checker Flag. And this, this container is uh, just a three ounce container. It's, they got ones that's larger than this if you're interested in that. I have a link down below for the stuff. And also got the uh, Shaven Sailor Beard Oil. Shaver of the day is going to have a Lord Extra Blade. This is the wrapper it came in. And here's the shaver. It's the short handle version. Um, already got the blade preloaded in there. This one here is one of those that I was talking about that's got some sizable channels here for the uh, shaving cream and whatnot to get rinsed out pretty well. It comes with a uh, plastic knob. That's one of my little things that you know you got to get past. And I like the older version of this. You may have seen them from time to time where the numbers and uh, the dot right there are painted red. That looks just fantastic. But the uh, there is one that takes the takes the plastic knob off and they've got a metal one on it's called Mergress. I've got a link down below for that also if you're interested in checking out one of those. But I will tell you it's quite a bit more expensive than this version here. This one here I got used. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I didn't buy mine new in other words. And um, got mine at a pretty reasonable price. Um, already put a hot towel to the face this morning. This is what's left of my uh, cube. Not a whole lot left there. But if you haven't seen one of the uh, older styles of Merkin Progresses uh, with the red paint, it really makes a big difference. Not only how it looks, but just makes it easier to see. But that red paint sure does set it off. But from what I understand, those are the older models, so I was thinking about maybe sending it off and have somebody paint the uh, numbers and put the dot on for me. I don't trust myself to do it. I'm assuming it's not any different or much different than uh, uh, painting the uh, blue or the red tip on the uh, Gillette flare tips, but I don't even know if I trust myself to do that either. I don't No, I don't think I do. <laughs> I guess maybe if I tried it a time or two on something else, you know, had some trial runs, I might trust myself more so, but I don't want to mess it up. I only got this one. Like I said, this uh, comes in the longer version handle, which will have some more weight to it. In between this one here and the uh, Parker variant, that's one of the things I like about the Parker. He, the Parker's got a little bit longer handle, but then that adds to the weight. The weight's what I really like about the Parker. Outside of that, I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference in between them. To be honest with you, you know, I think it just really depends on you and where how much money you want to spend the price, especially if you can find one of these. And I've seen, every once in a while you'll see these on uh, for sale on eBay used, and then you'll see a few Parker's variants every once in a while. But for the most part, uh, they're kind of far in between, at least when I go to check. Uh, I'm going to start out with uh, setting number five. Oh, and these settings do run up to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's, um, what, I think it says five plus, and then, then the, there's a dot in between the four and the five, so in other words, there's halfway points if you will 
but this uh, this uh, adjustable here has plenty of weight behind it. It is not a lightweight shaver, in other words, in my opinion. In other words, you can go with a um, vintage adjustable and get something that's lighter if that's what you're interested in. A lighter weight shaver. Like I said, I have links down below, so there'll be lots of information from the websites there. There's a little bit of feedback with this blade, and this Lord Extra is a uh, Teflon coated. Gives me some pretty good shaves. I haven't had any issues with this particular blade. This blade uh, seems to work pretty well for me. In other words, it's one that I would, uh, I'm thinking about putting on the, uh, get a hunter pack after the beginning of the year. I will mention, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're arrested in the long handle and the short handle of the Merker Progress, that the uh, the Mergress though, the one with the metal knob, that one, if I remember correctly when I was looking at it, the difference in the price difference in between the two, I think it's only like fifteen dollars. There's not a whole lot of price difference in between the two, so that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for one of those. And like I said, they don't come cheap. Um, let's see here. I think long handle. I think it was one hundred forty-seven dollars. I think it was for the long handle. Let's say not exactly cheap compared to how much. How you say the original one is, even new. But uh, you know, you're paying for the labor of removing the plastic knob, putting on the metal, and paying for that metal knob. So. something to consider. I have a hard tile for, so in other words, dropping this shaver with that plastic knob <laughs> could end up being a bad day if that happens. I haven't had, uh, I don't have any experience about it. In other words, if there's somebody out there that uh, can make repairs to these or they, I know they sell another replacement knob, a black one of sorts. Um, if that's something somebody's interested in, I'm going to go ahead and move this to setting number four. I've seen those for sale, but have no idea what it would take to repair one. I guess you might say I don't want to know. <laughs> Unless it's on a video. <laughs> This is a nice shaver though. In between this one here and the Parker variant, I don't know that you can really have gone wrong. I think it's more about style, what you like, what the looks. I don't know that they shave any different. I don't feel like they do. You'll see some uh, similarities in between them. For instance, here the, the cap and the base plate you notice there's little markers here. You gotta line that up when you put this back together. This is a two-piece design, by the way. And the uh, Parker variant's the same way. Has the same large channels that this one has. Both of them are nice shavers, in my opinion. It just depends on what you're wanting and the way it looks. And they seem, depending on where you go, what website, but in general, they're priced pretty close to being the same. I um, think this uh, Progress New runs about $51, $52, and the variant's right at $50, so there's a, just a little bit of a difference there. So the, one of the other deciding factors might be where you order from and whether you get free shipping or not. I have to hunt that down. Look, I'll look at uh, 
Um, I don't think the website I found. I don't know that I've seen one for free shipping. You might find it on eBay though. I didn't look real hard on eBay. Find one about the same price and get some free shipping. Also probably depends on what part of the world you live in. Like I said, I've got mine used. And uh, I don't even remember the name of the site. Pango? Something like that. It was a while back. Um, got it used from there and I think I got it shipped for, it was like the $42 mark. I got, <clears throat> excuse me, I saved a little bit of money. At that point in time though, I was not having any luck finding a uh, mark in progress around the $50 mark. It was uh, closer to 65 the way I remember it. It was um, a bit more expensive back then. The prices have been dropping. I'm going to just change the setting from four to three. And that is the other thing about in between the Parker variant and the uh, progress is that you don't have to worry about loosening the top or anything else like you might do on a vintage or a classic uh, uh, Gillette. You can adjust it on the fly. No big deal. Now the next one that uh, will be coming up Actually, next two. Seems to spark a discussion whether they're actually adjustable or not. What do you call them? In other words, they have interchangeable plates. The Rockwell is one of them. Rockwell, uh, it has the adjustable plate, I mean, the interchangeable plate, so you can adjust your. Uh, your shave and whether you want to do it on the fly or not and if you are a shaver that adjust your settings throughout the shave you may or may not like the idea of swapping out plates but I will have to say uh, get off like a chase with Rockwell Then I have the other one that's 3D printed, and uh, it, it uh, reminds me an awful lot of the uh, fine accoutrements uh, Marvel razor, or the, actually vice versa. I had the, high, the 3D printed one prior to the fine coming out with her Marvel razor. The head looks very similar. But that 3D version is a whole lot cheaper too, so get that going for you too. Yep, I got that spot pretty good, just a little bit right there. It is a pretty nice shaver, and it's been around for a while, so it's not like it's... Uh, if there's any problems with it, it's well known. And I, I'd have to say, just because of the two-piece design, maybe that might be an issue for some people, as opposed to a true twist open. But when you start looking at the prices right around the $50 range, in between the Progress and the Mercur, uh, I mean, not the, in the Par Parker variant and the Mercur Progress, uh, that's pretty reasonably priced. The Rockwell's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, getting all three plates is right around that same price range. Usually, I've seen it right at the $50 mark. So, keeping all that in mind, in other words, you can get some pretty decent shavers right around that $50 mark that's adjustable. And that's not even factoring in anything that you can find in the way of a twist open uh, um, Gillette that would be... Uh, Another option if you're interested in something like that. But I understand for some folks they want to go with something that's new and keep in trying to keep it down in that price range. These two shavers are, are there. And then when you throw in the Rockwell and then the 3D printed razor, it, 
just kind of muddy things up just a little bit because um, if you're not one that changes your settings throughout the shave a Rockwell workout just fine as well as the three, 3D printed one you just put it together and shave like any other day you just adjust it ahead of time on what kind of uh, shave you're looking for um, I normally uh, oddly enough when I shave with an adjustable I usually will just go with one setting and most of the time that's my thought for me to remember even change the silly setting because I'm not in that kind of routine I'm usually in a a fixed situation so it's easier for me just to put it on whatever setting I want and that's what I roll with but uh, you got a uh, a shaver there that you can adjust to your to your shave that you're wanting for the day so those adjustables you can kind of see where they're they're coming in at I guess you might say in the grand scheme of things for somebody that's uh, looking to only have one razor these adjustables, whether it's interchangeable plates or one like this, Merker, uh, or any of the others I've shaved with, you can kind of see where somebody might be trying to go towards to minimize the number of shavers and the amount of money they're spending on the uh, on their shaving routine, if you will. Um, I've got a website that I've got linked down below for these. Uh, that same website also has the larger bottles. Uh, this one here runs you a, a whopping $1.95. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a uh, hundred fluid, a hundred milliliters and three fluid ounces. And uh, uh, I like them, especially this size here. It's easier to store. I'll show you the restrictor here in just a moment. But it's pretty easy to manage how much uh, aftershave is coming out. Very good shave this morning. Start out five, four, and three. No stinging. I mean, just a really nice shave. I kind of thought that the lower and extra blade would pair up pretty well. I really, I'm really starting to like that blade even more. Oh, restrictor size. Before I forget, there it is. It's not real big. Easy to uh, control how much is coming out. And uh, at a dollar ninety-five, you know, you can order several different flavors and not be out a whole lot of money and be able to experiment with your uh, aftershave there once again the soap whipped up pretty nice that's at least well just in the, in the knot alone I know there's another three shade three passes in this one here and definitely another three in the bowl uh, whips up really nice and easy like I say it's firm in the in the container when you scrape it out it's very pliable easy to put in the bowl no trouble whipping it up Got a great shave again this morning. <laughs> it's going to be a whole month of fun. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.